After grabbing a refreshing cup of punch, you had made your way out to the balcony again to wait. You weren't sure what you were waiting for exactly, but the weather was nice and you certainly didn't feel like walking home alone. Leaning against the wall, you overheard a conversation being held between Todoroki and Momo. What are you doing? The stars are beautiful tonight, Momo objected as Todoroki gazed at her, ignoring the glittering sky. The stars would be envious if they could see the shine in your eyes. Todoroki whispered in his usual debonair tone. Ugh, get a room. You rolled your eyes. Unbeknownst to you, a fiasco was unfolding on the other side of the wall. <laughs> Don't drink that! Izuku cried, snatching cups out of the hands of his classmates. Deku, let's come over you! Ochiko was appalled as he seized custody of her refreshment, throwing it into the trash and moving on to his next victim. Sorry! He apologized earnestly to her over his shoulder. Beat it, nerd! Bakugo shouted, dodging Midoriya's desperate leap for his cup. Uh, this isn't working! Only one thing left to do, Midoriya thought, attacking the source. He reached out with both arms to lift the big punch bowl, but was constricted. Uh, Midoriya, what are you doing? Mr. Aizawa! Izuku struggled helplessly against the restraints. I can explain! There's a powerful lump spell quirk in the punch, and you can't let anyone else drink it! Aizawa's face sunk in annoyance. Love spell quirk? What are you talking about? There's no such thing. But, but you've got to believe me! He wailed in despair. Whoever convinced you of that must have been yanking your chain. He set Midoriya back in place while his other classmates watched from the dance floor. He hung his head, sinking to his knees. Everything is under control here, Midoriya. Go find your date or something. He mumbled, returning to his antisocial chaperone post in the corner. That's right, he thought, eyes darting around. Maybe Traveler will have an antidote. Are you all right, Deku? Uraraka ran over, lifting him effortlessly to his feet. Where's Traveler? He asked. She grimaced, delicately choosing her words. I haven't seen her in a while. I think she might have left. Izuku frowned, a dismal shroud of guilt filling his chest. I wouldn't blame her. I made her feel second best for so long. Then go fix it, Uraraka encouraged. She couldn't have gotten far. Traveler! Midoriya's loud voice shattered your ears, echoing as he burst through the patio doors. You startled hard, bumping your elbow into the wall. Ow! You snapped as Azuku swung around to face you. Ah, you're here! He sighed, slightly out of breath from running. I'm so glad you're still here. Uh, of course I'm still here. I told you I wasn't leaving, didn't I? You paused, looking down wistfully. Did you get the dance that you wanted? No, he whispered. There was no hiding it now. You had to tell him the truth. I'm sorry, you replied. You have no reason to be sorry. Really, I just... Please, hear me out, you begged, and he shut his mouth. Izuku, you're... You're so kind-hearted and genuine. You took a step closer to him. I think anyone would be so lucky to have you. He blushed in the moonlight, his gentle eyes glistening with a grateful, loving gaze. You reached up your hand to brush his bangs aside with your fingertips. I... I would give anything to take her place. You confessed honestly, a ripple of anticipation washing over you. Really? He cupped your hand, keeping it on his warm cheek. He smiled when you nodded and began leaning closer to him. It's funny you say that, because... He cut off his sentence abruptly his smile disappearing upon noticing the drink in your hand. Oh no! He suddenly pulled away and you frowned in confusion. What's wrong? You pleaded after seeing his tormented expression. This is all my fault! You wouldn't be saying any of this if it weren't for me! What do you mean? You interjected, gawking at a sudden outburst. I... I dropped it! What? The special powder you gave me! I spilled it in the punch bowl by accident! He shouted obviously beside himself with guilt. You blinked as an unexpected smile pulled at your lips. <laughs> <laughs> Traveler, this is serious. I have no idea how many people drank it. This is horrible. I ruined everything. He turned away from you in shame. I just wanted us to have a special night together and... And I... 
His voice broke and his head hung in disheartenment. I'm so sorry, Traveler. No, Izuku. This is my fault. He turned his head slightly to look at you. You remember the other day when you said there's no such thing as love spell quirks? He nodded. Well, you were right. What are you talking about? Izuku, you're such a wonderful person, and it was killing me that you didn't see how much of a catch you are. I wanted to help boost your confidence, so I... I made the whole thing up. Huh? He tilted his head cluelessly. But the powder... Pixie sticks and sugar, you answered. And your story from middle school. Improvised. And, and when you were under its effects the other day, you kissed me. Uh, he froze. It suddenly began to dawn on him that that too was a charade. You chewed your bottom lip, preparing for the worst. So, that day... He raised his finger to his lips, his face turning dark with a blush. Everything you said was all real. You blinked, not quite understanding what he meant. But... But it wasn't real. I lied to you. I feel awful and... No, that's not it. So you're telling me you meant all of that and you weren't just under some spell? Your cheeks burned hot in embarrassment. N yes. You closed your eyes tightly to await the incoming rejection. Midoriya's hand drifted over his chest, which was brimming with affection. No one has ever said things like that to me before. You ceased your cringing, meeting his sincere emerald eyes. He twiddled his fingers bashfully. Or made me feel the way you make me feel. Your beauty in the twinkling starlight took his breath away. He gulped, waiting for words to return to him, but to no avail. Midoriya thought his heart might explode from the sheer bombardment of emotion swelling within him. His instinct took over, needing an outlet for his fondness. Suddenly, without hesitation, Izuku closed the distance between you. His tenderness was reflected in the sweetness of his kiss. His lips moved against yours, softer than rose petals, doting and caring. He weaved a passionate hand through your hair, humming a small mew of appreciation when you responded in kind. You felt his other hand shakily slither around your waist. A tiny satisfied smile broke out upon your lips, dancing with his. You held him close to you, cherishing his love as the cool night breeze relieved the warm blushes on your faces. The end.